top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning to all my kings who are retaining their seed. Hold on, let me just go on and sip my, you know what I'm saying, one more again. <sighs> Marlon the messenger, go ahead and roll that intro. What's good with my people? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy. Go ahead and fix that camera real quick. Marlon the Messenger 777. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys. So hopefully you guys are feeling blessed and not worried about the stress. Today is another beautiful blessed day, my guys. That the good Lord has blessed us with. All right, you guys. So I know I've been saying it for the longest, but um, we on this 100-day challenge, and we feeling good in the hood, so you better get it understood. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Last night was crazy, man. Let me tell you, man. Last night was crazy, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Lately, your boy been out here. Rah, rah, rah fighting these demons my boy you know what i'm saying buffy the vampire slayer on these demons boy sa, sa, sa. you know what i'm saying praying against them trying to fast against them you know what i'm saying trying to read my bible so i could blast against them you did but these spirits man they don't want to hear it you know they are persons without bodies and all due seriousness fellas these demons don't be playing man because like we always say demons like semen and these ladies been going crazy bro i cannot make this up bro it is getting brazy out here with these ladies so you gotta be careful you guys i mean you a king so you got to protect your seed and like i said these demons don't like that bro demons are attracted to the light within you that purity you know what i mean you basically a virgin now bro you a virgin yeah man you feel me when you are retaining your seed bro a lot of cats gonna laugh at you, but they know it's the real. They know it's the deal. The females see you out here in the field. A lot of men said it ain't about the females, but let me tell you something. I seen the coyote yesterday, right? And I looked it up, the symbolism. It stands for a trickster. You know what I'm saying? A cunning person. You know what I mean? In the Bible, they say it was it was known as the shapeshifter. So what do you think that's a sign of? I believe that everything is a sign of the time. So you gotta be sober and vigilant. You know what I'm saying? By the way, shout out to all my, my kings who are out there sober as well along this journey. Because it ain't easy. You feel me? Please believe me, it ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? You know how they used to say back in the day, pimping ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? Being on semen retention ain't easy. But it's worth it. Because two pains in life. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret. And I'll be damned if we worry about regret because we focus on the check. You did. Cause we up next you did that part y'all but um i'm just spicing these videos up a little bit like i'm whipping it up for you know a five-star dinner for y'all just adding a little bit of you know flavor to these videos man because we need that nowadays everybody too serious you know what I'm saying? what's up marlon what's up marlon you know what i'm saying like back up man and just chill take a chill pill man everything gonna be all right but back to the story, fellas. So in all due seriousness, man, last night, bro, there was a succubus in my spirit, in my spirit, in my sleep, bro. While I was sleeping, I was knocked out cold. I was out like a light switch. Bro, this demonic succubus who was like a pretty woman in my dream, which I know was a witch. Bro, she raped me in my sleep, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I ain't even going to cap. I'm going to fall back and give you what I couldn't give her because I couldn't give her all that. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, this stuff was crazy, bro. I'm like, I ain't going to lie. Me and God have been battling lately, y'all. And forgive me, Father, but I got to keep it a buck because there's nothing new underneath the sun. I know I'm not the first or the last. I woke up this morning and prayed for forgiveness, but I ain't going to lie. I was going crazy last night. I was, Lord, why would you allow this? What's going on? And what do we do? And of course, you guys, we're human. Our minds are limited. We are not going to understand why we go through what we go through. But God does, God Almighty. And I've learned that we should not question him. And even if we do, we will never know. We will just have to sit back, relax, and play our position. And eventually, things will 
manifest in our life and we will be able to look back and be like oh okay god that's why you allowed it allowed that to happen because there was a burden that needed to happen in order to be turned into a blessing but like i said you guys which brings me to the topic of today the succubus spirit in your dreams on cement retention bro this sucky was trying to get lucky bro i'm in my sleep bro this dream stuff while you on cement retention because we in the final phase of this 100 day challenge bro in case you guys don't know look up the science behind semen retention after 72 days your semen is at its highest peak its highest potential its highest maturity bro we passed that part you know what i mean we in the last phase of this semen retention journey bruh i kept wondering why yesterday i'm like damn why my spirit feel heavy why am i feeling like this why am i feeling like that i mean i should be feeling a lot better than this you know what i'm saying i shouldn't be feeling down and out i shouldn't be feeling like something is wrong but when i had that dream y'all my kings bro it made a lot of sense you know what i'm saying i'm dreaming right i'm laying down in the middle of my sleep and i had to go i had to go pee too you guys you know what i'm saying my bad for being a little bit of tmi but i'm just relating it to the story i had to go pee you know what i mean so i don't know if y'all ever got to sleep and then you got to wake up and go pee it's like you gotta go heck a bad, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, so luckily that feeling came over me. That's what woke me up. But in my dream, bro, all I remember was it was a succubus spirit. She was pretty, but I already know behind that mask, that narcissistic mask was a witch, you know what I mean? Cause they always appear as an angelic pretty lady, but then trying to do you shady, you know what I'm saying? So in my dream, bro, this thing, this disgusting thing, bro, was raping me, bro. It was so bad. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I was going <laughs> going bad on God. Lord, forgive me. This is why I was going bad on God. Bro, my body was moving in my sleep. I was like this. Bro, like that. Like. And I'm just like, what the? I woke up like, huh? Ah! But I will say this, even though it was scary and it had my mind blown, one thing I was grateful for was, bruh, this was the first time I ever woke up, bruh, it was shooting out, like literally going out, like almost this close to coming out, like, stop right there, somehow, bro. when I'm going, I was like, no, and all of a sudden, I just held it so tight, bro. it went back down inside, bro. And I guess like, I don't know, shot back in my body or whatever. But the fact of the matter is this wish, this sucker, you know what? You know what I'm saying? This sucky was trying to get lucky. Bro, was raping me in my sleep, bro. You know what I mean? It's getting crazy out here with these ladies, bro. It's not even just out here in the physical realm, bro. Because they throwing it at me like a baseball. Trying to shoot through like a rocket when they take off. You know what I mean? It's not just that anymore, fellas. Now these witches, these dreams, these these semen demons, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to call them. Them semen demons. 304's knocking at the door, man. They trying to break in, but they're like, Big Molly Molly, we coming for that seed, my boy. We coming for that seed, my boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'm dodging, ducking and dodging, baby. You feel me? Ducking and dodging all these sucker bitch spirits because I don't want to hear it. I give it all a guy. Cause he the only one I'm fearing. You dig, man. But man, fellas, it was crazy. It was crazy, y'all. I'm amped up off my little coffee this morning. We finna go hit the gym. And of course, fellas, we about to go get another win. Pinky's in the air, man. Today gonna be another beautiful, blessed day. I just wanna go ahead and turn on this camera to motivate my fellas that along this journey, you are gonna go through it. But that's how you grow through it. Remain humble, remain upon your mission, and don't worry about the competition. And when I say humble, fellas, I don't mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to walk on eggshells and just be, you know, just poor little me. No, I mean humble by staying your lane, king. Do your thing, king. Never mind them haters who be hating and coming back like a boomerang, king. Give it all to the king, because you a mother freaking king. While you are retaining your seed, remember who you are, because you a star yeah man you know what i'm saying man i i shouldn't have to tell you but i'm gonna tell you kings so with that being said 
like I said, we about to go hit the gym. Huh? And of course, we about to get another win. Don't forget, you guys, take care of yourself. You only get one body. You know what I'm saying? So keep it shaking like Ricky and Bobby. Stay up on your grind. Keep God, your mission, and your purpose up on your mind. And always remember, fellas, stick to your diet, man. You are what you eat. Don't eat crap because you're going to feel like crap and you're going to look like crap. Uncle Molly Ma needs to stay on y'all on your head. You know what I mean? Keep my foot up on your neck because I know how y'all can be. Y'all can be out here BSing it. Oh, well, it's okay. No, it's not okay. You a masculine man. Keep your chin up. But remember, take full accountability for your actions. That's how you get the results you want. If you made it this far to the video, huh, I just want to say thank you, fellas. And I love y'all. And I want y'all to know that you can't make it, but understand you got to do it the right way. You feel me? Take notes from the people that's already doing it and just mimic what they're doing and you will get the same positive results. Don't forget to drop a comment below. Ring that bell notification so we always stay connected. Share this video with your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle. Yo, brother, your sister. Y'all know my motto. I'm sending y'all peace, love, and blessings. And until next time, peace.